Well, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, I <laughs> guess, from uh, the IMCA Super Nationals in Moon, Iowa. It is Tuesday afternoon, I guess. We were up watching racing till <laughs> about five o'clock, I think. So, uh, five fifty was the when they actually five fifty. Holy fit cow! Last feature. I was really hoping to see the sun come up. But <laughs> Couldn't make it that long. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we will be doing uh, a short version of the show each day from the Super Nationals and uh, try to keep you informed on how uh, how the local guys to us uh, are doing up here. We'll also um, just try and get you a little little video clip here and there of. Uh, things going on so yeah the internet speed here isn't uh, the greatest so we're gonna have a hard time getting a lot of good videos up till I either get to the hotel or we get home so but we got a lot of video coverage uh, to bring you and we'll try to bring you some snippets here and there and put up what we can and uh, we'll just kind of be keeping you updated on uh, Facebook too so uh, like our Facebook page and uh, actually on our Twitter too if you want to get it that way um, uh, they'll come across that way too so uh, we want to thank all our sponsors uh, that help us uh, come out here and do this and uh, bring all this stuff to you. So uh, we're going to thank Engine Quest, Extreme Motorsports, uh, BMS, uh, BSB, Harlan VP Fuel, and Contour Racing Cameras. And you can see pretty much every one of those guys up here at the Super Nationals, too. Um, so on Manufacturing Row, or, or they're here. So uh, if you want to thank them for supporting the show, hey, we appreciate that. And let them know that, uh, you know, you like what we do, so thanks. All right. Uh, well, I think you got a you got a little video there. Yeah, that, sure. Uh, we, I I did a kind of a quick walk through with one of our contour uh, cameras uh, strapped to my head, and I walked through the pits, and we just kind of sped it up, and we'll uh, play that now here. IMCA Super Nationals in high speed. I was uh, chucking right along there. <laughs> so, and I want to thank uh, Bruce for stopping and giving me a big old hug, too. Old Bruce Palisto, always a character, so he gave me a big old <laughs> hug while I was walking around. So. Um, but um, um, 
I think uh, Matt's going to tell us a little bit about what kind of we saw yesterday up into the wee hours of the morning and who did what. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we originally saw rain and then we saw a jet dryer break down and then we saw some more rain and <laughs> finally once we got the racing underway things went uh, fairly smooth. Um, the only thing that we didn't get in yesterday that uh, was planned were the qualifying races for the race of champions for the sport mods and those were moved to today so we'll see that uh, here this evening uh, I'll just run through some real quick results and uh, feel free to jump in there if you got comments uh, Justin on uh, how these guys did but sure. uh, we got Brian Rigsby in the 128 uh, uh, sport mod uh, finished third in uh, A number one. Uh, Mike Weidel uh, out of Garden City, Kansas uh, ended up seventh in his heat and eighth in the C number five. Uh, I think he he got in pretty loose. I don't know that he actually spun it out but uh, went to the back and you make a mistake like that up here it's, it's tough to get yeah. it back so uh, Jesse Sobbing had a heck of a run going in uh, the A number one but ended up uh, DNFing after well Did you I think see what he happened? had his worked his way up to second maybe yeah I, so. I wasn't qu quite there I don't think yet but he was, uh, he was right there in the top four for sure he may yeah. have got second did you see exactly what happened there I didn't. He did pulled off the top there, off going off onto uh, one there, and then yeah. he ended up having to be pushed off. So I don't know if something broke and he just got off the track right there. Well, okay, like I thought it, it almost looked like uh, the way he hit that cushion that um, he, he blew you know, off. No, I think he was, just, wise was. I think he was just was trying to get off up. the track, yeah, and he I was he was too fast to, <laughs> to 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 exit like you're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. But because uh, he did have to get pushed off there, so. Yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, he was looking good last night. Yep, definitely. He'll be be a contender as always, and uh, he's always had rough luck here, so uh, never has one feature that he hasn't won yet. So uh, we'll see see how the rest of the week goes here. Um, our buddy Stats, uh, C number three, he ended up fifth. Uh, had a heck of a run going in his heat race. Uh, started eighth and I think he diced his way up to about third before uh, spring come out and I don't know they're gonna have to look at some changes there because he said uh, too much bar angle in the heat and they dropped it one for the feature and it just didn't have any bite at all in the feature so uh, <laughs> I don't know seems to be too big of a change there between one hole and the next but uh, Max Harder 34M uh, did qualify for the A feature, finished 15th uh, in that. Uh, I don't know he if was he was kind of having some rough breaks. He he okay. got in a kind of accident there, and the car was kind of messed up, mangled up there too. But uh, he was kind of looked like he was fighting the car after that too. So yep. I think he was just holding on there, the last 10 laps. Jason Nelson looked really good, started fourth, and uh, had worked his way up to. I want to say second um, in the heat race, yeah. and some some contact that resulted in another guy's black flag, and uh, he stopped on the track, so he was also black flagged in the heat. Uh, yep, he in the C feature, he started seventh and ended up third. So yep, he ran really good there um, too. So yep. look Looks for him to be hard charging the rest of the week. The four U, Rick Boyden. Uh, C number six, he finished third. Uh, Mike Wickman, uh, out of Silver Lake, he was also in C number six, started tenth, ended up sixth. Jake Crone uh, won the C feature, C feature number nine, started sixth in his heat and ended up third. So, uh, yeah, good run for him. Going forward, let's see. Uh, more sport mod results here. 
Jake Blummer out of uh, Marysville, Kansas. Uh, <coughs> one is Heat. I don't have any feature results here for him. Uh, Cade Calhoun ended up uh, second in C feature number five, and really he hung in there real nice with them, with them. So uh, had a good run. Who'd you mention before that won their Heat? Uh, Josh Blummer, Bloomer, 21. I think he was the SpongeBob car, if I remember right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can take a quick look and find I want to say DNF, I think. Uh, 22nd, so must have must wrecked out yeah. there. Yeah, I think he was involved in a, I want to say kind of one of those melees right at the beginning of a feature even. So, uh, Brendan Damon, C number two, started fourth, ended up tenth. Uh, Tim Chivaria started third in the C number eight, finished fourth. Um, he did look pretty decent, good though. Uh, he kind of yeah came to me. Yeah, look, I see. looked like it could still uh, yeah. still get dialed in a little better. Sure. But yeah, he was he was uh, getting around the corner as well and and getting off pretty good. But, uh, also, uh, I think the track was still still a little bit greasy, greasy on that yeah. one, so. Yeah, there's definitely pretty good moisture in the track uh, <laughs> most of the, most of the <laughs> night till yeah till late in the evening. They didn't have to put much water on the track uh, yesterday with all our rains. So. Uh, ben Cates, 23K out of Tonganoxy, started sixth and C feature number one. Uh, just got a little greedy. Uh, car did slide up in front of him and he didn't like it and drove over him and, and crashed himself. So. Uh, 11K, Rod Klinkner, uh, C feature number one, started eighth, didn't finish. Uh, Jesse Levine, C feature number four, started tenth, finished seventh. Uh, Curtis Peel, C feature number four, started third. Uh, did not finish that, but he did look good, had a good run going there. Uh, just couldn't finish it, so... I don't remember exactly the situation on that one, but uh, do you see that he didn't finish? Jacob Crow. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> Jacob Crow uh, in A feature number two finished fifteenth. Uh, a lot of tough cars when you make the A, so he finished fourth in his heat, which was. Uh, qualified him for the A feature but uh, just kind of stuck where he was at in the in the feature. Tyrell Smith did not start his uh, heat race broke a gear transmission driveline and uh, hot laps. Yeah. He did get it back together for a B feature he started 12th and finished 8th uh, but was running up around 3rd I think and uh, Yep. Got spun out. He kept it going and passed back up through there. So yeah, he did look real uh, good too. If yeah. Too bad uh, he chucked there all that stuff out on the hot laps. And <laughs> and yeah. He may have been taking it easy today. Brian Stitch had a great run. Uh, started fourth in B feature number seven and wheeled her up to first and. Uh, I wouldn't say he checked out from them, but I don't think they were really challenging either, so uh, had a good run. Adam Armstrong in the B feature finished third. Brendan Stiggy uh, did qualify for the A feature in the evening and finished that in 15th spot. Uh, I guess I should comment that there were two A features. He was in A number one, Crowell was in A number two, so each of those guys, 15th spot. Eddie Ingram out of Kansas City uh, finished 10th in the B, 5th in his heat. And 111 of Brandon Johnson had a heck of a run in his heat race, finished first, uh, qualifies for the A, and by the end of his heat race had lost a cylinder. And I don't know if they thought they had it fixed or if he just came out to get some points uh, and keep trying to fix it. But I know he, he dropped back and eventually, I believe, pulled her in. So yeah. uh, another guy I don't scored know. 27th in the uh, 
in the uh, A feature. A feature. So. Another guy I don't know if you got on your list is uh, Brent uh, Schlake. Um, he uh, got second in his heat race, and uh, he was in that same A there and uh, finished uh, 19th. So yeah, finished with a black flag, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, but uh, yep. And the eleven of uh, Robbie Marsh, uh, eighth in his heat, tenth in his uh, B feature. Uh, that's all the cars I've got on my list here. So, yeah, I'm sure we're missing some too. If there's uh, somebody that uh, you're kind of wanting us to may pay attention to and that we haven't included well let us know uh, and uh, we'll try to do our best there's a lot of cars here we can't uh, keep track of them all but we'll try to do the best for our fans and in, in our area so yeah um, as far as today is concerned uh, like we mentioned before we've got carryover from yesterday as far as the race of champions qualifier and the sport mods we'll also run the race of champions qualifiers for the hobby stocks uh, course more A features, B features, C features, uh, heat races for the hobby stocks and sport mods as well as sport compacts uh, complete uh, complete program right they're on their yep. feature and yep. everything. Well, they're a yeah. feature so, night so we'll look uh, and we saw some hot lapping yesterday and those cars <laughs> have really <laughs> evolved I mean we're we're seeing it locally but uh, and come to a show like this uh, see some uh, some good stuff out there so. sounds like there's gonna be quite a few of them here too we'll let you know the final number when we all get signed in and get started today so. yep so we've got uh, that's one thing I didn't get and, and thought I would here for the show was the a lineup official lineup for the the features uh, the big dance so they say uh, we've qualified the inside and middle row of the hobby stocks and the inside row of the, the sport mods, right? Yep. Yeah, so uh, today we'll qualify the last row or the, the outside row of the hobby stocks and then uh, last chances will fill in the remainder of the field, the rear of the field, right? Now on the hobby stocks, do they not do the inside? Yesterday they did the, the 1A was the uh, inside and outside row and the last chance is the third is row. Is the center? The, the, yeah, or one of them. Oh, okay. Because I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure they took, gosh. Well, I know when they, they have changed when that. they interviewed Shannon Anderson, they said dead center. So dead center, okay. I'm guessing. I'll have, we'll have to look about that and kind of get back with you. I, I, yeah. I forgot to check that out. Um, There's so much information floating and, and around. And they kind of each <laughs> ones do it a little bit different <laughs> because of the number of cars that they have in the class and the time that they've got to run each two. So yeah. each class is a little bit different how they qualify too. So we'll double check on that and let you guys know tomorrow. Uh, yep. And so after today, we'll have lineup set for uh, the race of champions and the big dance for the hobby stocks and the sport mods also have feature results for the sport compact division um, so further on in the week then we'll move on to stock cars and modifieds get them all qualified up and then uh, watch the shows on Saturday so we'll uh, we'll get you more information as as the week goes along but as far as today that's that's what's happening and yeah, what we're actually expecting. still Wednesday we'll be still getting this the sport mods too They've oh got okay. their last final still six spots Okay. So just their last chances will be. So they'll be just a little bit on Wednesday of the sport mods. And the hobby stock, the last spots for them. All right. 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 Well, yep. I had that messed up. <laughs> so <laughs> That's the way it goes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're seeing sun out here today, so it's hot, humid, but uh, I don't see any yeah. impedance in the racing at this point yet anyway, so... Uh, We'll be excited to get racing started on time and <laughs> hopefully over at a reasonable time so that we can then make our own choice at, as to whether we go to bed or <laughs> partake in the second, uh, the second features of Boone Speedway. Yeah, the after hours. <laughs> yeah. The after hours. That's right. So, so uh, yeah. you want... Uh, 
play the Engine Quest. Yeah, I want to yeah, yeah, thank uh, Engine so. Quest uh, for uh, sponsoring us uh, all out through the year in our feature videos, and, and they're helping us with uh, getting uh, this information to you guys. So we want to thank Engine Quest. And if you're uh, looking for um, some more horsepower under the hood, uh, Engine Quest can uh, hook you up with uh, different head combinations and uh, all kinds of engine combinations, too. They're not just into heads. They can help you out with other ideas, too. So... Uh, look them up, and uh, I think Eric's going to be here at the Super Nationals. If you always wanted to talk to him, meet him. Hell of a nice guy, so uh, make sure you talk to Eric if you're down here. So. And I think that's probably going to do it uh, for this edition of uh, Dirt Track Central. Uh, we'll try to do this every day, give you kind of a little quick update of what it is, and we'll get it up uh, uploaded onto the website and on our YouTube channel. and. Keep uh, looking at our YouTube channel, our Facebook page for updates uh, throughout the week. So, so for Dirt Track Central, I'm Justin Hopp. And I'm Matt Kavasic. We'll see you tomorrow.